Shit. The way I see it, it's kind of like going to school. You go to school from when you're, what, four years old, preschool, three or four years old, all the way until you get your bachelor's in college. What was that, 22, 23 years old, master's, 24, 25 years old, 26. You know, if you're on time, you're perfectly on time, 25, 26 years old. So for the first 25, 26 years of your life, oh, you're going nonstop academically. I don't see why we can't also develop humanistically the same way that we would put automatic focus on academics academically. Because just because you're academically inclined does not make you a good human being. That does not make you balanced. That just means you have a whole lot of knowledge, but if you're a piece of shit as a human being, you're still a piece of shit as a human being. You're just a really smart piece of shit. See, that's the way I see it, is that when we develop one instead of both, see, you could be like Sadaki. You can be stupid as rocks, but you're trying your best to become not a piece of shit as a human being. Whereas you have other people that we know them personally. Oh, they're academic as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, but as human beings, oh, they're like, they're like a piece of shit that you spray painted gold. Oh, they think they're gold, but they're still a piece of shit at the end of the day. You know, that's that's what I feel is also another problem is that in our society we don't try and value a person who is holistically a good human being and academically inclined. We push people to be academically inclined, but them developing as a human being falls by the wayside. This is what I've noticed early on, is that on my own, just through observing, is that when I was in college, people were so focused on being academically inclined and increasing their knowledge that one, all they cared about was test grades and a piece of paper. Two, they could not apply it realistically in their daily lives. Everything that you learned in college. And three, they were pieces of shit as human beings. They were stuck up, they were nasty, just horrible human beings. Either that or they were so like robotic that all they ran on was academics. They no longer were a human, in, in my personal opinion. They were no longer human. And I feel that this is the downfall of it all too, is that there's too much focus on academics, which isn't a bad thing, but we shouldn't allow the humanistic side of a person to, in terms of good or bad human being, to also fall by the wayside in response. We should be able to, as humans, balance them off or move them up together. Which, once again, I'm Sadaki, I'm crazy, I'm stupid, what do I know, right? You know what I mean? Let's just keep people who are stuck up and snobby or people who are pieces of shit and don't know nothing creating the world that we live in now. Because God knows we don't need people who have both. God knows that's just too much of an impossible dream. But Sadaki here saying that this vlog's going on forever and I'm going to trim this thing down like crazy. So when you guys probably see it, it's not going to be as long as 18 minutes and 30 seconds. But I will catch you guys later. Do not get offended by any of this stuff once again. This is just my take on the way I see things and why things aren't the way they are. And you know, just ask yourself questions, you know? That's, that's the coolest part about life is that the outcome is what it is until you change it. And you're never powerless unless somebody's got a gun to your head and telling you this is what you're going to do. The moment you don't listen to what I'm saying, you're going to die. You know, if you're not in a situation where somebody ain't got no gun on your head, you're free and open to do whatever you like. I'm letting you know. As long as you reside in the United States, you can do whatever you want. Within reason. Don't, don't be an idiot now. Don't be dumb. Don't take those words too literally. Of course, we have laws and bylaws and guidelines and everything, but... Yeah, anyways, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Stay from the best monkeys, stay chicken masabis, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Shoots!